There's going to be some carpenters in the comments with 35 years experience that are absolutely going to hate this thing. What's up everybody, Mark here from Remarkable Woodworks and in this week's episode I have to do a little bit of trim work but I also came across a tool that could revolutionize the carpentry industry. At least for the trim carpenters, you framers are a different breed. I don't even know if there's any hope for you. If you're a trim carpenter, you know that there's an argument within our industry and that is around the inside corners. You have the option of doing 245s within your inside corners, filling it with caulking and being on with your day, which can be very appealing because it is very quick and an easy way to get the job done. Then there's the argument to do coping cuts, which leaves you with less caulking to do and a more professional finish. The only downside is that it takes much longer until I found the Coper. This is the tool right here. It's called the Coper. And it's basically like a giant jig for your baseboards. It mounts to any work surface and it basically cuts the inside coping cuts for you within seconds. Now I had the opportunity of testing out the Coper at the home show that I was recently at, but it wasn't really the ideal setting to test things out. But this is kind of what you can expect. You basically take your mold, you pour in your piece like this, and then once it dries, it basically leaves you with this profile. You can use your router to cut things out and you're left with a cut piece that looks like this. Has the perfect profile, you can take that and put it on your piece like this and it leaves you with a nice clean seam. I don't know why I just did that whole speech because I can just go outside, get set up and actually show you how it works. So I think I'm just gonna go do that. Sorry for wasting your time. So this right here is my current setup for doing trim work and these are my miter saw wings. I don't know why a brand has not come up with their own version of this. I built everything out of scrap pieces, but I think it is vital to make yourself a set of wings. I do have plans for this current design and uh, I will link those in the description below but uh, I'll kind of give you like a little bit of a walkthrough. So my wings are set up into two stages. I have the actual arms and then the base. I use the base for just about everything. I think the additional work surface off the sides of your saw is vital and the shelf really does help to store little tools like files or drills or jigsaws just to have everything in a close proximity so that you reduce your steps is absolutely vital for production. Now the second portion are the arms or the wings. I guess the whole thing is the wings. Anyways these extensions here are amazing. I don't use them every single day, but I really, really love them. If I'm cutting something long, like a casing or a long baseboard, they work way better than those arms that come on the stand. They come off really easily and they fit in my truck perfectly. Almost too perfect, actually. Like I said, I have plans for this current setup. I think something like this is absolutely imperative if you do a lot of trim work. And I think adding an additional set of wings that you can incorporate the coper into would help immensely. Imagine just having the coper sit right here at the end of your wings. That way when you make your cut, you can slide it down, bring out your router and just zip and away you go. 
I actually think that's a perfect build for another video. Let me know. So back in the day, you used to have to use a coping saw to cut your inside corners. That's what this is. It's got real sharp teeth like that. It's got this funky little D hook handle thing here. This is so that there's enough space in here for the profile to go around. You can adjust the blade and change it up so you can get into all the funky angles. It worked great, but it took forever. Now to speed things up, us millennials decided to use two tools, either a grinder or a jigsaw. And if you use a jigsaw, I like to use one that has one of these on it. Where the hell is my jigsaw? Anyways, I have a whole other video explaining the Collins coping foot and a jigsaw and how I use that to cope my inside corners. It makes things much faster, but it's not as fast as the coper. What the hell is this? Has this been in my ear the whole time? What, what is wrong with me? All right, let's play chemistry or biology or some sort of science. I feel like this is something we should read the instructions on. They actually have a really good diagram with pictures and everything on the instructions. They also have written instructions right here. The first thing it says to do is cut a one inch piece of baseboard, which is what I did. Then it says to take another piece of baseboard and cut half an inch off the bottom. But my baseboard has this bevel on the back of it because the people at Matree actually know what they're doing and they know that no wall is straight. So this bevel here actually helps the baseboard sit flatter on the floor. However, in this case, I've just cut the bevel off. I have my half inch piece because this doesn't really matter. It just has to be the same thickness of the baseboard that you're gonna use. So something like that, this bottom piece is gonna sit in the mold and then this piece is gonna sit at the back like that. So that the router can just drop down into this off cut here and walk the profile appropriately. That was a whole word salad, but I feel like I, I feel like I have the jits of it. We can get on to uh, making a mess. So they have this two part smooth casting, which I think is just epoxy. And they also give you these measuring cups they say in the instructions to fill up 40 mils of part A and 40 mils of part B, but the measuring cups only go to 30 mils, so I'm just gonna fill up the whole entire cup up to the rim, and that should do it. Now the wax just helps make this come out of the mold that much easier. So you wanna use a generous amount. At least that's what the instructions tell me. However, I'm using MDF and this is just drinking up this wax. Also the wax they give you is just Vaseline. So if you run out, just hit up your local pharmacy. You also wanna wax this spacer too.
did a story about the Coper a couple of weeks ago on my Instagram and I had a couple of questions come in. I wanted to address them in this video. So question number one, is there anything that you don't like about it? Yes. The big thing is the amount of time it takes to fasten the mold to the jig itself. The top plate in which your router walks across, there's two holes there, which I'm assuming are for a screwdriver to go through, but they're too small for the screws to fit through. So you gotta fit your fingers under there and try to thumb things around and sometimes the nut falls out of the back and this is getting really, really weird. Uh, but that I think could just be fixed with a bigger hole. Okay, moving on. Seems gimmicky, how much does it cost? Right now, at the time of shooting this video, it retails for 160 bucks on their website. The standard shipping for Canada and US is around $16, and that's to get everything that I just showed you within this kit. Now there's smooth casting, it comes within the kit, but if you run out, they sell that on the site as well for $25. And last but not least, why does your butt stink? Doritos. Now in total transparency, the company that makes this Coper reached out to me on Instagram and they did send me this kit. However, I am not being paid to make this video. In fact, some of you are gonna see this before they even get a chance to see this video. I genuinely think that this concept is absolutely brilliant. I don't even know how many hours of my career have been spent just doing coping cuts. So for 160 bucks, this thing is gonna pay for itself within the first job and you are going to save so much time and make so much more money with a better end result. I just, I think it's a no brainer. I love the idea. So thank you Coper for sending this to me, but also maybe give me a discount code next time. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Just I 10 out of 10 recommend. And that my friends is gonna do it for this week's episode. So if you like this video, please do all the things that you're supposed to do when that happens. Feel free to follow me over on Instagram. If you didn't know, I wrote a children's book. It's inspired by my daughter. She likes building things. She likes princesses. It's called Build Like a Princess. You can get a copy on Amazon right now. I will link it below. I love you all equally and I will see you when I see you.